Hi guys, so it's not uncommon for DJs to have a couple of different computers that are used for different things. Uh, so for instance, maybe in your studio you've got a Mac Mini set up, but then when you're out on the road and doing gigs, things like that, you've got a MacBook Pro. Um, and I guess historically it's always been a bit of a pain uh, keeping your music files and your Serato library synchronised between those machines, or at least it has until now. So in this video I'm going to show you how we can use Apple's iCloud to synchronise music files and your Serato library uh, across multiple computers. So stay tuned and we'll go for it right now. Okay, so I've got my two systems. I've got my old machine here um, with Serato working uh, and the library there. So let's take a quick look at this. So as you can see here, I've got um, a few crates set up with various tunes in them. Then. Uh, over here I've got my new Mac, and as you can see on this one, there's absolutely nothing in the, in the Serato library there, it's completely empty. Okay, so before we begin, we're going to have to make sure we've got a few things in place, um, just so that everything goes smoothly. So the first thing to make sure is that the, you've got the same version of Serato on both systems. So it's dead easy to do that. Once you're in Serato, I'm just going to hit that cog at the top, and it shows you down here, version number, so I'm on 2.1.1. That's on both my systems, so I'm all good there. The reason for that um, is because Serato writes to its library files, and maybe in a future version of Serato, it might start writing to those files differently. So then if you've got two different versions writing different versions of the library, it ain't gonna end well. You're gonna end up with a corrupt library, and gonna be pretty sad. Uh, so make sure that they're both the same. And also, going forward, when you do a Serato software upgrade, don't just do it on one, do it on both of them at the same time, again, to avoid that inconsistency, inconsistency problem. So you're going to have to make sure as well that you've got enough iCloud storage space to put all your music within it, basically. Um, so it's dead easy to check your iCloud storage space that you've, you've got. So it's just a case of going into System Preferences, then into iCloud, and then you'll see at the bottom there. So I've got 5 gigabytes available. I've only used 186K, so this is a... A sort of test account that I've just set up for this video and I've got a really small library that will fit into there. To check the size of your music library that's just a case of going, um, I usually go go home music. Now there's my Serato library files, okay, ignore the iTunes one and then my music files are all, all within here basically. Best thing to do if I control click on music files, get info, so we've only got 440 megabytes here, awesome. That's definitely gonna fit. Your value's probably gonna be in gigabytes, but like I said, this is just a small library that we're using here. So that's definitely gonna fit in there. You're probably gonna to need to buy some more storage than the five gigabytes that you get for free. But the, the pricing's really reasonable. So over here in the UK, I'm paying £2.49 a month for 200 gigabytes because in reality I've got about 150 gig of music so that works pretty nicely. You know, what's that? It's the price of a coffee, isn't it, each month? So then um, the final thing that you're going to need to make sure you've got before you begin is a backup of your music. I can't stress this enough. With everything else in life, you can generally replace it if you throw enough money at it, apart from a music collection. That's, that's built up over time. Once you've lost that, you ain't getting it back without a lot of hard work. So what I do, get on Amazon, buy a cheap USB drive, it costs peanuts, um, and copy all that music folder onto there. I mean, I do that, I'm so paranoid, I then keep that hard drive at a friend's house because I'm, I'm just so worried about losing my music collection. So make sure you've got it backed up before we begin, and then we should be good to go. Okay, right, so on the machine with all the music, what we're going to do is we're going to get Serato closed and we're going to enable iCloud Drive. As we did before, it's just a case of going into System Preferences, iCloud again, and then the very top option, which is iCloud Drive. Now, it might already be ticked. If it is, awesome. Uh, I'm just going to tick that. Now, one really important bit to do is go into the options and look for this little guy at the bottom, Optimize Mac Storage. Now, we would definitely, definitely want that off. So that's basically saying, if you're running out of space on your actual MacBook drive, it will start removing files. 
and then just keeping them in the cloud until you need them. That's not what we want, because imagine you're at a gig and you need a file, and then all of a sudden you, your computer's cho chosen to remove that and you've not got internet connectivity. It's not going to be good. So we want just to make sure everything's there by unticking that little guy. So click Done. Also, go away and then do that on your other machine as well. So I'll do that on this guy just quickly. Clickety-click. Okay, so back over to the uh, the machine with all the music on it. What we're going to do is we're going to basically move your music folder to a temporary different location for now. So to do that, we're going to need to open Terminal, which is kind of hidden away, but you can easily get to it by clicking your search and typing in Terminal. There we go. Now, what we're going to need to do here, like I said, we're going to be moving the music folder. All these commands that I'm typing, I'm going to put in the comments, um, just so you can easily copy and paste them. It just saves time and uh, saves you getting them wrong. Um, so we're going to do sudo, um, then we're going to move music to music dot old. Right. It's going to ask you for your password. Cool. So now what we should see is that probably if we go in there, yeah, cool. Right, so we've created a music.old folder which has still got all our original music in. What we're gonna do now is create a music file in iCloud Drive. So there's another command we're gonna type in for that one. So if we do that, and then what we should see is within the iCloud Drive, perfect. We've got a, a music folder, as you can see. So the next thing to do is we're going to put, think of it as a shortcut, it's actually called a link, um, where the old music folder was pointing to that one in the iCloud Drive. So, so there'll still be a music folder within your documents, it's just going to point to point to that one. So it'll make more sense in a minute. So we're going to run another command to create that link. So if we now go and check in our documents folder, we should see the link that we just created. So you can see here, we've got a a music folder, again, with a little sort of arrow icon on it that denotes that it's a link rather than a real folder. And then if we click on that, it's gonna take us into our iCloud Drive. So you won't really notice that, but what we can do just to check is go in iCloud Drive Music, I'm just gonna make a new folder. Oops, okay, I'll do. Um, so then if we go, in there, in music, there it is. So basically, you, now where we are, your music folder and your iCloud Drive music folder, the one and the same. So the final step is we're gonna now move all the contents of that music.old folder into the new music folder, um, the one that resides on iCloud Drive. So let's go ahead and do that, final command I think. Okay, so depending on how much music you've got, this next bit might take a while. Um, so as you can see on my screen already, it's starting to upload those files into iCloud Drive. So we can see there 857 meg going in there. So we can confirm that as well. So if we double check by going into the DJ folder, music.old should be empty now. So I'm gonna go into music.old. As expected, all the files have moved. That's fantastic. So we can actually delete that folder now just to keep things a bit tidy. So as I said, if you've got gigs and gigs of music, this part now is where you need to plug that machine in, leave it going overnight. It's gonna take a while while it uploads those files. Now there's one more thing that you can do just to really confirm with yourself that those files are definitely uploading, which is if we go to iCloud.com in a web browser, we should be able to see the files appearing there. 
So once you're logged into iCloud, just go ahead and click on iCloud Drive. And all being well, we should see our music folder with our music files starting to appear. Brilliant, there they are already. So while those files are uploading, it's probably a good idea just to jump back into Serato just to double check it's seeing those music files still and it's following that, that link that we've created. So I'll quickly um, start up Serato and then we can just double check that our music's playing. Looks good. Okay then, so lucky for me, um, all my files are finished uploading. You'll notice that the, um, the little sort of upload status thing that we had on below each of these folders is now finished. Fantastic, obviously yours is probably still going. Right, so if we jump over onto the second machine where we've already disabled the um, iCloud Drive file optimization, I think, yeah, we've already done that, so we're in a good place. So what you'll probably notice already on this one, hopefully, is that it's starting to pull those files down already. If I go in the music folder, awesome, there we go. I'm gonna delete this i folder because it's annoying me. Um, there we go. Um, but we can see that our music files, they've downloaded already, in fact. Brilliant. But we still need to do the same trick where we create that link, because this music folder here is still pointing to our old one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go again on this computer to the terminal. Uh, so again, click on the search, terminal. And we're gonna do the same thing where we, um, what did we do? So sudo, and then we moved music to music.old, cool. Right, that's that done. All we've got to do now on this one is just create that, that same link called music that points to the iCloud Drive. We don't need to make the, the music folder in iCloud Drive because it's automatically start pulling that down for us. All we're gonna do is ln-s, uh, what was it? Um, library, mobile. I think that's it. Yeah. Again, like I said, all these commands I'm putting in the comments down below just so you can copy and paste them. It's a lot easier than trying to type all that gibberish out and then potentially getting it wrong. So now if we go uh, da -da 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 -da, home, there we go. So we've got the old music old. So it might be that you've got some music in your music.old folder. That's for you to decide what you want to do with. Because I'd open Serato even though the library is empty, it's made a, an empty Serato library for me. So for me, that's rubbish. Uh, so I'm just gonna get rid of that. Um, but then if I go into this newly created link, hopefully that should take me through to, awesome, all my music files that are there. So now, the moment of truth, if I start Serato on this second laptop, the new one, which previously had an empty Serato library in, I'm hoping it's gonna have the same library that you saw on that one right at the start of the video. Here we go. Boom. <laughs> look at that. Awesome. And look, it's even maintained all my, um, my plays and everything like that. So we've got a system there where both systems, as they make changes, they're uploading it straight away into iCloud Drive. Now, one situation that you really want to avoid, though, is having both of them running Serato and connected to the net at the same time. Um, because imagine if this one's making changes to the library, doing changing loads of files and stuff, but then that one's doing it at the same time as well. Again, it's that thing that we were talking about earlier about one that with library inconsistencies. So generally what I'll do is, when I've finished on one, close Serato down, give it a few minutes to upload all the files, all the changes. It doesn't take long to update the Serato library. Now the other cool thing as well is we've basically moved that entire music folder. So in fact, it's not just Serato that's benefiting from the change we've just made. Um, 
You'll notice I had an iTunes library on this one. It's actually moved that whole iTunes library over as well to this one, so I can open that. And the same applies, make changes to my iTunes library. It's updating that, pushing it to iCloud Drive, uh, and then it's accessible on the other. Um, other important stuff to note, it doesn't just have to be two computers. It could be three, it could be four, but the same rules apply. Upgrade the software always at the same time. Um, and try and only ever have one copy of Serato open on one of them at any given moment, else you'll probably run into trouble. And then, another bit that I should have stressed at the start, um, this is not backup. It might be that you've just got one computer and you're just syncing your files to iCloud Drive, just so if you ever lose your computer, your library's safe. Yep, good on you, it's a great thing to be doing, but it's not backup. So imagine this situation, you type in one of those commands in or something, and you accidentally delete all your files. Well they're all going to get deleted on iCloud as well. So it's no good in that situation. You, in my opinion, you've always got to have a sort of an offline copy on that USB hard drive that's, that's hidden somewhere at your mate's house um, if you want to keep your music really safe. Um, I do think I mentioned a similar thing is possible with Windows. So the things that we've, the, the real magic here is the uh, those links we made, which are called symbolic links. Um, they do a similar thing on Windows systems called junction points. Um, if that's something you're interested in hearing about, let me know in the comments and I'll potentially do another video, same but for Windows users. Um, so yeah, enjoy. I hope it helps you out. Um, if it works for you, let us know. Cool. Take it easy.